Hey guys, JC6 here, back with you with Phoenix Right Justice for All. So right now we're on case 4. So let's go ahead and just move around and see what's going on. Let me take a drink. It's hard to bear with all these problems, ground. Aha ha. Aha ha ha. I think I want to. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. Oh yeah, I remember what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to talk to Gumshoe, and then you're supposed to present the walkie-talkie. The transceiver? Oh, Mr. Nick, you should ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. What thing? Oh yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It broke, pal? I was talking to the kidnapper who just suddenly broke into static. And it sounded like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Maybe it fixed itself? That's strange. I'm sure it's making a loud static noise. Hmm, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electro. Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic interference? Um, so what is electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. But when you put it that way... I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, for example, when the cell phone goes off next to a computer screen, the stuff on the screen gets kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Computer? Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the screen starts looking weird. Oh yes, the TV does do that. Hmm. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to understand this. So the room you were in with that interference to the receiver happened. It's got to be something that is to have very strong radio waves now. Something like, mm, like a listening device or something. And speaking of that, where, where were you when it happened? From this, we were in Mr. Korea's room, scene of the murder. But that time, we were sneaking the priest and get the bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, alright, pal? Like, don't you? Oh, yeah, baby, it's investigating time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! Oh man. Come, come to. Come to, you had too much coffee today. We should be going too, Mr. Nick. Let's go back to Let's go to the hotel lobby. Let's go to Mr. Carita's room.
Well, I'm just going all over the place right now. But. It's. Yeah, we're supposed to go to Mr. Credence's room. Which is. March 22, Gaywire Hotel. Hey, you're finally here, pal. So sorry to keep you waiting. Do you have the, um, bug sweeper? Um, well, you see, I got bugs to try to sneak in, but just suddenly I'm staring at the precinct doors. On the outside, I mean. So yeah, I couldn't get one of these bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item. Hey, calm down, pal. I, s I didn't say I didn't get one, I just had to police it. Also, this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. This was made when I was in elementary school, pal. And you were. Don't you must have been some type of genius or something? Oh, by who? Me, of course. I think this sure brings back memories. I mean. Well, what kid makes a bug sweeper, you know? It's. Hey, don't look down on this, pal. Sure, it looks a little run down. I put my heart and soul to bend this puppy here. Your heart and soul? It worked, trust me, pal. It'll do the job, bud. But you can't set the sensitivity. So it's gonna beep at anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? Well, anyway, since I brought all this way, might as well give it a whirl, right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. Okay, now I'll tell you how to use this, baby. There is a listening device or some other sort of bug kid in this room, pal. We're gonna find it, right? Right now, first, let's turn the sweeper on. Let's touch the sweeper and take a real good look around this room with it. You can see how strong the radio waves are in the area, but check look at the check gouge. Check gouge. Check. I think it's called check gauge. Once you find something that's giving off strong waves, the, the gauge will change. And when that happens, touch the gauge to really give them a give the thing a long hard stare. There's a lot of things here that's gonna give off radio waves. So let's take a good look at everything and anything and everything that looks seems suspicious, okay pal? Or I'm gonna stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell, you find a bug, got it pal? And check listening, device check. This is this is just a, this is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Is it? Did you guys find it yet? The listening device, I mean. No, not yet. But this bear's eye is. See, let's see. Perfectly normal stuffed bear with some really strong radio waves. Sounds like you found a device to me, pal. Let's dig this big fella's eye and see what we've got. No, you can't. Such such a violent act. Mm. No! Yeah, that it's a miniature camera and looks like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. A what a what a mi meter? Transmitter, pal. Is this more of that high tech stuff? This tiny thing is a camera. If it's a pinhole CCD camera, pal. It's a small high grade video camera, mostly used for security system. So it's a video camera. It runs on a battery which comes with it in a set. But there's no videotape in this camera. This is only the camera part here, pal. So you tape record the tape inside it is somewhere else. Somewhere else? The 
switch is changed into radio waves then sent to that recorder. So it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're right. So what is the transmitter? It's a device that sends footage camera took to a specific destination. It's like a vi video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time with it. You can set it for a certain time. Yep, let's see, this looks like it was set to start at 8 a.m. and go for one hour. 8 a.m., that was the time the war ceremony ended. There's no date set, so it's been recording every night, I guess. A mystery detective. How long has the bear been here? I'm pretty sure it's been here the night since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe... Maybe this camera caught the murder on tape. What? If you think about the angle the bear is at, it's not that it had a clear shot the whole crime, pal. So there was a camera in this bear's eye? And it was this guy still present? I'm sure it was here on the night of the murder, pal. It's pretty big, so it stands out pretty well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Korea the present? I uh, don't know, pal. But this means that someone out there just got a video of what happened here that night. Is there any way we can find out who that person is? It's impossible, pal. Radio waves can be sent almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Is there really no way to find out? I got it. What? Hey, pal, let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. What are you going to do? I'm gonna go around to, see, to the electronic shop and see if I can find out who bought this. But that's impossible, I mean it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me if I have to search on now, find your man, pal. Oh yeah, baby, it's investigating time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! And come see this hot up on Red Bull right now. He's gone. Mr. Scruffy Detective sure is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard off of Mr. Meyer's sake. He always managed to do things in the most ineffective ways. You have to excuse my heard your conversation just now. Edge, what are you doing here? A rescue team has been created and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward one step at a time. I see, thanks. Don't think me, it will stay out to find her. And so there was a spy camera hidden inside the stuffed barrier, huh? You're a one lucky man, right? Do you know this stuffed bear, little girl? Oh, I have no idea. Hmm, of course not. The make of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade. There are very few that are exported here. What? The camera and transmitter that scary brain detective took with them are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere, however this bear is different. By checking how it got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. Well, what I don't understand is how, how come Edgeworth knows that this bear came from overseas? I mean, we just found this, so how... Can you really do that, Mr. Nick? Can you really? Well, I guess so. And it's 9 p.m. I guess I can still make it in time. I'll be taking this for now. I'm sure you have other things you have to do. See you soon, right? Wait, why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who can't comprehend. Besides that, right? Until the court reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who is the person that murdered Juan Corita? Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. We still have a little time left. 
find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. The answer is past. The kidnapper who so conditions and acquittal for Mr. Encore. And it's called Shelly the Killer. But the only way I can say is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I understand what your real intentions are, Edgeworth. As you said, all I can do for now is find the truth. Okay, I'll stop right here. Take care, everybody. See you guys next time.